hey, welcome to Mice Moment. And today I'm gonna share with you this ta da! I never tried this product before. This is my first time really getting my hand dig in. I bought this at Sephora, as you can tell. And it's Sephora favorite the next big things and I guess it's going to be really good I want to try it because um, I know that this is mini size only this two is a full size and I just need a new blushes so for this purpose that I really want to try this because it looks super cool and then uh, I never have any lipstick that is from melt brand so this is all the brand that I'm not really familiar because um, it's pretty expensive first of all so for this package I don't remember how much I bought it for but it was very affordable plus I have 20% off and so whenever I got this it was I think I applied 20% on top of that so it became out even more affordable so I'm super excited to open this because look at this it's such a great package and I know that only two of this is full size as you can see it's telling you and the other one is a mini so it's a great whenever you are traveling and then you don't have to uh, buy the large one and especially if you never tried that products before I recommend to have your hand something that is travel size like this yes Sephora have a policy that you can return your products but I just really want to you know the bang for the buck and I got this for a really good price so that's why I don't mind buy this versus buying individually and I can definitely you know put it in my travel luggage and whenever I'm traveling I have my makeup bag and let me show you my makeup bag this is what I carry with me whenever I go to uh, in vacations or anywhere I just hold this this is really good this I got this from benefit and actually I bought a lot that's why I got this not because I purchased this you cannot able to buy this to tell you the truth so let's see what I have in here I mean I have like stuff that I like to carry and I like to use so I put it in here so one day I'll probably review of what my traveling makeup bag is but for now we are going to focus back into this and this is just a perfect holographic oh I'm obsessed with holographic and it's saying aren't you gorgeous that is so nice and I apologize if you hear some noise in the background it's because I have my nephew over and there's two of them so definitely they are going crazy but we are going to try to focus on this and I'm going to you know follow step by step of what I'm going to do with this makeup because I want to try everything that's on here let's open this baby and it's just a perfect packaging as you can see and then everything is like really mini except this I don't think this is mini I, I never had my hand tried to that products before and to, more like to tell you the truth is that even Sephora let you try a lot of products but I don't like to put my uh, hand into something that is not a pump because that's just nasty if you over here just dipping your fingers again and again because you don't know any other people have disease or kind cooties so that's why I'm trying to stay away more just like trying on products there unless I have a pump uh, so I'm going to apply this this is for Sally liquid glass for radiance make skin serums with a hyaluronic acid and I don't know this is just sound really good so I'm just going to apply that all over my face and hmm is it gonna make my face shiny that's a good question by the way I'm already applied moisturizer hydration all the above that usually I do is it gl little glitter mm -hmm. so I guess it's trying to make your skin like healthy so that is the and I'm just gonna apply it and it's just making your skin glow and healthy I think this is like another thing for luminized skin that is very popular right now it feels kind of sticky you guys it feels kind of sticky but guess what when 
and base like this that is sticky whenever you apply on foundation is actually really good. It's going to be stick on your face and it will not like shift around. I don't like anything to be sticky, especially if I'm applying makeup. Oh, I just feel so gross for me. So if this stickiness and when I apply them for my foundations, my foundation is not like having sticky textures. Even if it's sticky, I will go ahead and use the setting spray, spray everything, lock it in place and not feel sticky at all. I would say this can be a primer because it's kind of sticky. Um, if you're wondering like a uh, primer usually is make your skin smooth instead of sticky but this one was really smooth at first and then it become pretty sticky. So what I'm going to do is I don't even know milk makeup. I need to research this really fast because I don't want to tell you guys how to do it wrongly and it's just say cooling water. What the point of using a makeup if you don't know what you're doing, right? So I'm just going to search it really fast to see how to use it because this is my first time cooling water. Man, I should have used this in the beginning, okay? For what I read, I should have used this from the beginning because it's helping my skin to stay calm, hydrate, irritate skin, lock in moisture all day, and going to give my skin energized and refresh glow. I should have used this in the beginning, you guys, but too bad. I'm just going to head and put it on top. So definitely I'm gonna target the eyes because I want it to de-puff. Well, I don't really have puffy eye, but for for my lady out there is having a struggle with this, I, I don't know because I don't know if this products work or not since my eye is not really puffy. I feel like I'm putting glue, like Elmo glue all over my face right now. It's not sticky, it's make my skin really smooth. Ooh, I like it. Okay, okay, okay. If I was going to do my makeup next day using this, I will put this first and then this. My skin right now kind of feel hydrated and sticky at the same time. So that is your goal, I think, since this product never tried before. Okay, so keep, let's keep going. Um, I already did my eyebrows. If you want to know step by step of how I create this look, make sure that you check out my video because I definitely have a video that dedicated on how to make this happen. And let's get started on our items. So this is such a great product for traveling and as you can see that there's a glitters and there's pink. We can work with it. We don't need anything else and then also I probably add some uh, glitters because I love glitters as you can see but let's get started and I'm going to start on my eyes because that's the first thing on the list so you're wondering how I placed this uh, eye patch is that you going to target at the end of your eyebrows and then at the end of the corner of your eyes that's how you're able to line it up Things that I'm going to start first is going to be eye primer. So the, for the purpose of this, it's actually going to help you minimize their chance to creasing whenever you're applying, you know, a very beautiful eyeshadows, and you want to make sure there's no a line right here. My eye is monolid, so I don't really have that problem. But whenever I put my fake eyelashes on, guess what? I have hooded eye. Weird, but that's what happened. First of all, we gotta put this on. And then by the way, I bought this from AliExpress. And if you're wondering what this is, it's actually a um, brush cleaner to take off all the colors that I previously used. And I don't want to mix any colors together. The first color I'm going to use is M433. I'm going to dip in this pink right here and it's beautiful. I love it. And I'm going to tap it off the access and I'm just going to use the mirror that's on here and targeting the spot. So as you can see that I concentrate on this portion right here on my natural crease if I was having a crease and then I blend up to my eyebrows. Use all the asset you have right here. This is like your real estate, you know? that this is the land that you are going to draw in. So you make sure that you're going to 
have all the colors in that area. We are going to blend this part. You can see that it's casting up reflections of a gold and that's why it's really pretty. And then you can see a tint of pink. Okay, so I'm grabbing M431 and I'm going to dip in the same colors. What is the name of this, by the way? Oh, there we go, it's a blush and highlight. <laughs> My bad. So this is saying blush and highlight, but hey, I'm just going to be creative here. Uh, so I'm going to use my blushes for my eyes. Who said that you cannot do it? Let's break the rule for a minute. Oh, oh my God. Do you see that? That is really pretty. And it's kind of really cool if you notice that whenever I use this brushes, the color came out pink. But then whenever I use this brushes, M431, dip in the same colors, it come out gold. Interesting. So as you can see that this spot in the middle, I'm just going to leave it alone because we have a purpose for that. And definitely I want to add the colors and put it under my eye. This spot, I want to use this color right here. And I'm going to use my ring finger and apply right in that spot. Can you see that? Oh, I hope you see how beautiful it is because it look amazing. Oh, I really like this. It's so easy to apply, it's smooth, it does not create any crease or any weird harsh line, which I really enjoy. So I'm just focused right here and it's not a lot of fallout, which is a plus, you know, because you are dealing with glitters. And then I just want to focus in that area. I don't want for it to go anywhere else. I just want it for that to stay right there. This is Artist Couture and I really want to add this glitter, pop it right there in the middle once again. And this is a pink and gold colors, really pretty. And I'm just going to tap that right here. There's like different type of glitters. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh, we forgot something very important. Very important. I'm going to take this and apply it right here. Make sure to clean your hands. And I'm going to apply it right here. Oh, I look like a unicorn. <laughs> That's so fun. Next I'm going to do is putting eyeliners. And as you can see, I always use this eyeliners. It's very affordable and it's also good. It's by Essence. I think it's only like two or three dollars and it's waterproof. And then I'm going to also do this side and I'll be right back and we continue on our journey to try this product, whether it's good or not, is it worth your money buying? Because it's very expensive. Makeup is very expensive. So I just wanna be here, show you guys what products that is necessary for you to buy and what products that you can totally pass on and don't even need to try it. For foundation, I'm using Misha BB Cream and this is number 27. My sponges is Outlast. It's time I use it more than one year and I'm talking about is ripping apart but I'm just going to use it to the max and two is going to literally rip apart. So as you can see that if this rip, I have a backup of this one and this one. So I never out of products. I just keep going and when I see a sale, I'm just purchasing three or four of them. I know that seemed crazy for me to do that, but actually it's because of my friends and my family usually watch me on YouTube like this. Whenever I recommend a product to them, they're really interested in trying. So they would ask me, hey, do you have that product on hand that I can buy it from you? Because I buy for a better price as a um, diamond status and all that other stuff because I buy too much makeup 
on um, on Sephora and Ota and so I get a really good discount and a really good deal that not a lot of people have and so whenever I see a really good deal and when I have a coupon I apply more discount on top so I get a very good price next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to contour my face and I'm using a tart shape tape uh, this is not actually my favorite sponge this is this is my favorite but for now I'm just trying to use it until it cannot last anymore and I'm just going to put it in the trash the beauty sponge I mean it's good but you know what it takes so much of your foundation this does not I'm surprised that this does not at all but this one oh yeah it take everything okay and I'm going to use a air sponge and this is a translucent powder so if you type of girls who have a lot of oily skins this is a must because if you like matte like me then definitely you are applying right here what oh there's powder what I like to do is actually tap on that spot and kind of blend it in versus baking just to make sure to actually just bake it for five minutes if you bake too long guess what you're gonna have flashback whenever they over here taking your pictures and you look like ghosts so we are not trying to achieve that look whatsoever you want to apply this powder on what you're doing is that you are making your foundations and your concealer stay in place you don't want it to shift around you don't want it to go anywhere. I am contouring my face, but this part is not important. We're focusing back on the Sephora favorites. If you are wondering what kind of bronzer I use, is the Hoola by Benefit. It's a really good product. For highlighting, I'm using Natasha Denona. And I'm going to use the color right here. So I'm using a brushes to draw in. So I'm using a detail crease this is M515 and I'm going to target right in the middle right here I'm going to highlight the tip of my nose and also the bridge of my nose creating a taller nose using a small fan brush and then I'm going to dip it on here okay oh look at that oh my gosh obsessed I love it. This is very similar. I'm surprised this is very similar to Fenty Beauty. Very similar, you guys. So if if you having this already, I don't think you should buy this. But if you want to buy this, then I definitely recommend both of them. I it's really hard to figure out which one I like it better because it's so uh, similar to each other. And this one is more. I thought this one is more shiny. A little bit more shiny but that that's not much just a little bit more so it's time to put on blushes ooh okay how do you open this uh, remove the fin before using okay so remove this part oh how cool it's a stamp okay 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 Ooh. I'm going to stamp both sides of my cheeks and getting a brushes and blend it in. Okay, so whenever you are applying this blushes, make sure to don't put powders. Because if you put powders, this is definitely going to be happening. And it's that what happened is that it's taking out my foundation and taking out my concealer. That's so strange. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix this. A way to fix this is using your foundation, applying the beauty sponge, and tap on the spot you need to fix. I noticed that the best thing to apply blushes is something is powder on powder. If you are applying a powders and then something liquid, it's definitely going to rub off. I would say this this thing is super cute. It's not bad products. It's just because I put on powders. If I have skipped that process, I'm pretty sure that whenever I apply this, it's absolutely going to blend perfectly. 
but it's just a step that I did not know it did not work. You know, sometimes you have to try and error and that's whenever you re realize something is wrong. And so next products I'm going to do is my lips. I'm going to use this. This is color O Rose and this is a matte lipstick. The smell of it is like so good. It's like sugary and vanilla. Oh my gosh, it's absolutely amazing. I just want to eat it. Well, don't eat your lipstick, but it smells amazing. And what I want to do is actually going to line my lips. To outline my lips, I'm using a Milani True Instant Color. This is number three. It's such a beautiful color to outline your lips. Okay, so I already did an outline. Next, I'm going to put on this lipstick. And as you know that I'm not very lipstick person, I'm more like into this kind of lipstick where it's going to last all day. Sometimes when I use this lips, uh, it's going to dry out my lips and that's why I tend to stay away from this. But I really want to try this on because it's in the package and it smells great. So that is the look right here. But one last thing that I really want to try is this lip gloss i think hopefully yep oh no it's for eyes Ooh, it's for eyes right what what in the world huh what is this violet bows Oh my gosh, I thought it was lip gloss the whole time. I thought it was lip gloss. Well, you know what? I'm gonna use it as lip gloss. You can be always be creative with your makeup. You don't always have to follow the rule, right? I'm creating an ombre effect. Actually, I kind of like it, but not really. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it right here on my eyes just to see if there's any different. It's really easy to apply and it's creating a cooling sensation. That's weird. Whenever I apply it on my skin, it's very cool. Interesting. I have not wear this kind of lipstick for a while. Uh, I usually tend to go more rosy, but if you are loving the look of like natural and the look of like a darker colors, like nude, then this is a really good products here. And lastly, we are going to finish with a setting spray. And once again, if you have been following my channel, you notice that this is a pixie bottle water. This is for hydration mist, but actually I'm putting a max setting spray solution in here because I like how it spray. I'm going to give you a run through really fast what products that I love the most and what products that I probably not even going to purchase at all is that this one right here is a um, it's a multi-function so if they have a package like this yes I will buy it again but I'm pretty sure they won't but this is such a great products right here that I really enjoy that I would definitely carry around in my bags whenever I'm going traveling because it's small it's compact and I can do a multi uh, look with this and the products that I say that um it's not to where i really care for it's actually this one right here it's because i don't like how it's sticky texture i mean it's have a really good purpose of helping your skin to be hydrated and also to be prepping for the makeup to apply but it's just feeling sticky which i don't like and then the um this one is pretty cool because it's going to help my skin stay hydrated and the fun part is that I feel like I'm putting a, a glue on my face, you know, Elmo glue, Elmo stick glue that you usually do for art and craft. It felt just like that, but it's not sticky at all. So for this one, it's absolutely amazing because the color is so vibrant, it's so beautiful. I love glitters all the way. And this is what's easy to apply to. You can use your finger, you can use your brushes, and is uh, have a very thin glitter. So you can actually do a lot of look with this one. This right here, um, I feel like it's very similar to this one right here, is a Stila 
So if you know about like Stila glitters on your uh, apply your eyes, it have the same applications and it's, it felt really similar. You know, so if you have this already, I don't think that you should buy this one, but it's your choice definitely. And for this one, I actually really enjoy the colors. I like the, the how it worked, but it just next time I will not put powders. I'm just going to straight up using this part after the facts I blend out my uh, highlight. So next part for the lips. I don't feel my lips as drying right now, but who knows what it's going to do at the end of the day. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure to give this video a thumb up. Comment below of what you want to see next. Don't forget to subscribe because that will help my channel grow. And don't forget to ring the bell for notifications whenever my video coming out. And as always, love yourself, stay motivated. Peace out.